Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Reese here from Stoic Pool, and in this video we're doing the pool update for Epoch 324. Let's get into it. Right guys, so Epoch 324, we've minted two blocks. Uh, so far, there might be a surprise one later. Um, there have been a lot of, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of delegation moving. The uh, RISO was over at the end of last Epoch, so we basically, everyone left. You know, we went down, we went from about seven or eight million delegation to about half a million. That's where we are now. And uh, it just shows... I mean, I wasn't expecting any of it to stick around. It would have been nice if some of it had, but, you know, it is what it is. People have their own goals, and uh, I'm not a part of that, realistically. So, you know, c'est comme ça. Um, yeah, that's about it, really, for the pool. Pool's, pool's going well, otherwise. Pool's operating fine, not had any issues with it. Uh, we haven't had as many blocks as expected. We didn't get very lucky whilst we had crazy delegation, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, we've been minting blocks, and things are all right, so... That's okay. There has been a lot of news, a lot of crazy stuff going on in the SPO space. Um, there was a soft announcement amongst SPOs yesterday that the fee structure for stake pools is going to change. And it's kind of been a long time coming. You know, we've been expecting updates for a while and they just haven't been happening. And I'm kind of glad that something's happening, even though maybe it seems a little extreme right now but anyway adjustments to the pool fee just mean we have the opportunity to compete basically compete with other people because right now block rewards the fixed fee for a pool is more than half of a block which just has a huge effect on how competitive our small pool rewards are in comparison to the big pools so uh, it's nice to see that's correcting slightly, even if it is a bit of a scary adjustment. <laughs> and, you know, as normal, that's kind of created a uh, heated debate among stake pool operators about what's acceptable, what's fair, what's uh, reasonable, and kind of any, any other word that you can kind of fit in that gap realistically. It's not the end of the world. Uh, Stoic pool isn't going anywhere. Um, yeah, we have little to no overhead no, like costs for our pool, basically. It's solar powered, uh, it's bare metal, you know, like it doesn't really cost me much. So I'm quite lucky with that. Though. It's kind of lucky that we got prepared for this kind of mid last year. So otherwise it would be a lot more of a shock to me and a much bigger cause of stress than it is. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, other news. So, uh, as you may know, I was voted as the state pool operator representative for Catalyst Circle V3. So, basically, as part of that, I've, been, I, I've just been going crazy trying to get groups of state pools who are building stuff on Cardano to actually submit proposals, to actually get funded, to enable them to focus on these projects and actually build them out properly because at the minute they are they're in the works you know and stuff is as good as can be based on people working on it for free uh, or them those projects it's not a single project but those things for free and so I'm really trying to kind of get everyone together because we have this extra little margin we have like an extra week and a half left now to submit proposals uh, even though it goes straight into finalization and into uh, QA it's it's a, a little bit of a extra bit of leeway to give people the opportunity to actually focus on this kind of thing and actually think about it so you know that's going good that's going really good actually this this cycle for catalyst i uh, have personally oh my god personally submitted uh, um well actually i've done one two three four i've done about seven or eight now just for myself but along with other projects there's going to be closer to 15 proposals all in uh, catalyst for funding for various projects this is staking dow this is nft pass this is um a smart contract interaction app like rewind to about this time last year when i was talking about how smart contracts are going to interact on a or people are going to interact with smart contracts on a p2p uh contract kind of basis Marlowe contracts, for example, 
And so I'm building out that solution, or I'm going for funding to build out that solution at least. And you know, I've been I've been slowly kind of collecting up a group of people to have a team to work on these kinds of things because um, amongst SPOs there are loads of fantastic ideas of things that can be used and can be implemented very fast. And there's something to be said for just having a small team of of competent people in different fields, whether it's front end or like kind of database work or a blockchain development or smart contract stuff or marketing even or just project management and kind of (laughs) actually getting people to do the thing you know and just kind of organizing time there's so much stuff um if you just have a small team of people who specialize in each of those things then you can work together and build stuff fast and that's something that i'm really kind of focusing on now the more i can do with a small group of people the faster that we can work, the better quality stuff will be. And ultimately, like the more we can do. And that's what's important, right? I'm not interested in doing loads of stuff or doing one thing for like five years anymore. I'm interested in moving fast, building and and getting things out and into the onto mainnet as soon as possible. Like these solutions are being built. Okay, but if we're, if we're not funded for stuff, then that slows us down because everyone works on it part time. If I have a bit of money to throw at people and go, look, here's this, do it for a month, do it for two months. And I can hire people on a contractual basis or the team can work in little sprints on different projects to help really move the needle forwards. And while one part of the team's working on one problem another part of the team can be working on a different problem a different project even if necessary and it can we can just move really fast and that's that kind of uh quickness and that speed of delivery is is kind of missing at the minute in the space it seems and uh yeah so that's kind of what i'm just trying to work on that's a little bit of what's going on with your mate reese um what else is happening oh i was um accepted as a genius yield ambassador uh, so I've been chatting with a, a couple of guys in the team over there. Uh, I've got some, there's some really cool developments going on at Genius Yield anyway. And I'm quite excited to do some videos about it and kind of explain what's going on. I'm digesting their white paper at the minute. <laughs> I've got some other bits going on. I've got a bunch of secret little things that I can't tell you about, guys. And I'm so excited about it. And I, I literally just can't mention it right now. The tip of my tongue. But uh, yeah, there's stuff happening Stoic pool isn't going anywhere. Look, we're just doubling down. We're just doubling down on other projects that are going to help us build awareness for Stoic pool, build the brand up a little bit, and hopefully um, put some serious solutions out on mainnet, addressing actual problems that are occurring in Cardano, in blockchain in general, and ways of implementing. Uh, different parts of the blockchain and cryptography kind of technology into the real world like nfts like nfts for example like nfts (laughs) all right guys that's all i can tell you i I can't tell you anything else all right but i'm gonna have some interviews coming up soon i'm gonna be talking to people who are doing catalyst proposals just like i did on the last cycle but there's gonna be quite a few more hopefully this time and yeah that's about it that's about it guys plutus pioneers is going fantastic emergo blockchain development course again brilliant so i'm just kind of i'm really working in the thick of it at the minute like just learning so much stuff and building so much and it is it's so exciting and fast and poor danny has to deal with me talking about this and and working too much basically but it's all positive i'm feeling really good about it and it's just nice to be uh it's nice to be really really busy basically it's just nice to be super busy like i am at the minute okay uh guys that's it for this video as always give us a like subscribe um leave any questions or comments you got in the box below i'm gonna have a link to some of the catalyst proposals downstairs so if you want to check them out give me a thumbs up leave any questions or comments on there as well i'd be very very grateful um stick around i'm gonna be doing some live streams i'm gonna be doing some video interviews i'm gonna be doing all kinds of other stuff so as always delegate to stoic And I'll catch up with you in the next one. See you then.